We are at Burlington, and once again, I forgot to film an intro walking into the store. So the graphics should have cleared. Oh, this is marked down to 429. How many pieces is that? 129 pieces. Hmm. Comes with some cool figures. Huh, that's kind of cool. There's a Pokemon. Now, uh, what else we got here? Some RCs. Another one of those ships down there. Still got the 599 sticker on it, though. Anything over on this side? Doesn't appear so. Oh, we still got Mr. Cody Rhodes. We'll take a picture of Cody. And actually, let's get a picture from the side that shows the Burlington sticker. So if we put it on the thumbnail, people will know what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, they got Hollywood again. This is unpunched. That's actually a bare looking card you're normally see in the stores. This figure, I've got to open it. It's actually sitting on my desk at work. <laughs> Again, I enjoy the Superstars line and the wrestling figures. Try me. What do you do? Whoa, it makes noise. Seems like Godzilla. That's pretty cool. There's some more Mega Blocks behind these. There's another one of those marked down. Here we got Marvel Legends marked down. We got Siren and Darwin for $5.59 each. It's got down cheaper than Ross. Now there's another Cody down there. Oh. Apparently I made that thing mad. Anyways, what's back here? I don't think we have much left down this side. No, it's animal. Doggy toys. That's probably more my speed, but... Velociraptor, that Regal Arthuratops thing are pretty cool for seven bucks. And man, they've about wiped... There was shoes over here before, but... I'm getting rid of all kinds of stuff. Shoes is the only thing my raw stores seem to be getting here in the last little while. <laughs> they have gotten in a huge stock of shoes at the Bristol and Greenville Ross. Uh, there's these things. I've seen them at Ross. $3.99. I don't know if they're cheaper or the same price. But not selling anything else, everyone. That's going to do it for Burlington. If I do find anything else before I get to the registers and leave, I will show it to you. If not, I'll see you at the next. Here we are, everybody. Bristol, Tennessee, Walmart. Going to head in here and see what they got this morning. Been one of my hot spots over the last little while. Early morning Walmart run. Let's see if they got anything worthwhile. Uh, again, guys, I'm just scanning Transformers. If I see if there's anything new here. You guys let me know because i am not aware still got 40 bucks on the pizza fire van man they got several ratchets here one two three at least if you need to work on something they got a ratchet no <laughs> there's another one up there too what is a ratchet 35 bucks they got the big godzilla the big kong down there with the beast glove and godzilla evolve and ugh, that thing right there guys that thing right there is freaking awesome. That's probably my favorite pickup of 2024. It has taken over from Donkey Kong. I got a couple more of them up there. Another Pizza Fire van. I got some turtles. I think that's Mutant Mayhem. Um, a Splinter. Some people say Splinter is hard to find. I don't know. I've seen him some in my area, but honestly, I haven't really paid attention how much I've seen him. There's a light green Genghis. I don't see the dark one. It might be in there though. I don't know. Got our Fugglers. Leo and Donnie. I finally broke over and picked those up. Looking forward to seeing Michelangelo and Raphael. These things are still here for $15. That's still here for $15. On two different pegs. We might combine those forms to be nice. What we got here? Raphael, Leo, Raph, Genghis. Not a whole lot going on in Vintage Turtle or Retro Turtles. Uh, someone's broke Kong's band there, but I don't think they've taken anything out of the package. Kong and Godzilla Evolved is all they have in that one. Um, got the crystals here still. In my opinion, so far, what I've seen, these are probably the biggest, I don't want to say ripoff, but they're the most non-economically priced. But again, to tell what's in these things, you look down in the top of this, like this one is, that's King Kong. You can tell by, you can see down in there to see the outline of the figure. Godzilla's got a big curl that comes up on him. Shimu's head and body come all the way to the top. That's Scar King. Scar King's got a big, really big bump right here at the top. And you can see like a little divot down to where his arm's at down in there. 
but anyways it's hard to see on the video but when you look at these things in the store and in person you can tell or at least i can but i have looked at them probably more than normal people <laughs> all right i still got ultron and still got strucker the two i want are over here by themselves like oh which ones would go on clearance i've got him i would buy him if he was on like a five dollar clearance but don't know if that'll ever happen cap oh that's kind of a screeching sound sorry about that cap stands alone as far as your new newer ones and you can see here they got some older ones i think that is yep zombie scar bitch got some ant-man back in there a couple yelena's miracle man wasp kang crossfire they had some legends i think on clearance here last time i was in this store but obviously not those Oh, here we go. Still got one remaining at least. Nightfall Batman. Bat, those are all three bat wings. Got a build a figure back there. Raven from Titans Wave. They got Nightfall, Deathstorm, a couple Aquaman page punchers. Jim Gordon as Batman and Batwing. I wonder what the odds of this being a platinum is. I don't want that figure. I've got it. I've seen it a thousand times, but nope, he's a regular. He is a regular. Still old superpowers, and they're still sticker at nine ninety nine. So I'm guessing that they're not on clearance. I don't know. Some places I found them for three dollars a piece. I've seen some other hunters start finding them for clearance as well. So, and I'm seeing some that found Aquaman in some of the new waves. So, slowly but surely, maybe they're starting to trickle in finally. No skull ship. I don't know if that made it to my side of the country. There's Paz Vizsla, Sabine, Darth Vader, and Mandos. They got all those little Star Wars 5 POA figures. Got some Star Wars plushies. Oh, they got an Ewok. Huh. How much these little boogers are? No, 997. Okay. C3PO, Stormtrooper. I see Darth Butt hanging out back there. Um, What do we got? Oh, R5 D4, Cinderella, Cassian Andor. I well, got some new ones here. Got the Mandalorian Fleet Commander, and you got Shin Hate. And all these older ones. There's R5. I think I've already pointed him out. They got some Series 3 and Series 4. One of the new ones here. The A Wing. You got Chase, you got a TIE Fighter, and the Sky Speeder. That's what we'll be looking for. Trying to find some new Chases. Oh, do, do, do. Steve Austin's monster trucks up there. Those AEW figures have not changed since last time I was here. Ultimates, I saw Bianca Belair somewhere. There she is. She's hanging up there. And then down here, we got another Bianca and another Bianca. No Randy Orton's, Kurt Angle's, or Bobby Lashley. They sold all those. Scrap Iron, Lady J's. Here's our little Fortnite figures. Grimmore, Gunner, Malik. I don't know if I've seen Malik before. Ah, Moisty Merman. <laughs> and then Hotwire. Hotwire looks pretty cool. Kind of like a version of Barbecue from G.I. Joe or something. Baroness and Lady J. Still got some shipwreck there, a whole peg of him. Um, coming down now to our video game stuff. Got Pudgy Penguin little blind boxes down there. I guess they're blind boxes. Bowser, Link, Donkey Kong, Donkey Kong. Those are all Mario's. I actually picked this figure up the other day off camera. He's a good little Mario. I like to have a Luigi. I wonder if I've missed Luigi. I'm not for sure. What's even out in those? I got Rainbow Friends plushies, Rainbow Friends figures, all kinds of Rainbow Friends figures, man. These are ten dollars a piece. Uh, there's the green one. The green ones one I have. I don't see them very much. And then the Poppy Playtimes. Got Bunzo, Puggy Wuggy. Still no Five Nights at Freddy. What happened to Five Nights at Freddy's toys? I used to see them, you know somewhat regular the Among Us guys are still cool uh, 
let's move around here guys see what we can find what is that jada metal fit no that's minecraft what is this yellow one it is minecraft as well okay okay what do we got back here let's take a look at some end caps i don't see much down through there There's a Hot Wheels. I didn't even look at Lego. I'll go back down to Lego while after I finish. There's a clearance. Well, clearance for full price, $34.97. And we got some Hot Wheels bins. I want to glance down in here. It's like the same old stuff I've been seeing. Oh, that's pretty. Nice little color. Batmobiles. Okay, let's hit it over now to the die cast. There's another big tub of Hot Wheels. I think I saw those guys here last week as well. Smashing Spinatas. Oh, they got these things marked down anymore. There was some clearance stuff here last week. You got a busted Fallen down there. $30.94. That has beat the crap. $70 bucks for the Hall of Armor. And then we got our... Well, these aren't clearance, but... Our poly bag box. All right. Loudspeakers tell me she's hot, but she's psycho. Um... More mail. Jurassic. They don't have the Star Wars Hot Wheel ships here. They got a spider buggy down there. That's kind of cool. A couple of those you see on the bottom shelf. I'll squat down there in a second. Um, no pink Batmobile. Still have not seen that in my area. There's some <laughs> Richard Betty. <laughs> That's a new style. Are they doing, like a, are they doing throwback cars to, the, to him or something? Kevin Harvick, Brad Keselowski. Kind of weird seeing. I don't recognize a lot of these names. I assume these are newer drivers, but you've got a Richard Petty with all of these. Oh, you got an Earnhardt car, Jimmy Johnson, a 17 Tide car. Is that going to be Daryl Walker? <laughs> That's some kind of throwback thing going on with some. NASCAR. That's still a nice set. I haven't picked that one up yet, but I need to. What else have we got this morning? Let's take a look at that spider buggy. I think those look pretty cool. Oh, if I can get down here. <laughs> yeah. That is cool. I've seen that before. I like the figure that comes with it. It's a little bigger scale than the usual Jado Nana figures when you buy those little car sets there. This looks like the older Wave Series 32s. And let's see any 33s back in there. Still trying to find the grease trap. And then we got some more Hot Wheels down here. Again, not seeing too much. It's a, is that melted or something? It's a weird looking bubble. All right, that's going to do it, everybody. Well, I'll take that back. There's another little thing right here. One of the Porsche cars. Well, I'm going to go walk the Lego while to see if they might have any clearance deals or anything there that we might have missed by not paying attention to it. If I do see anything there, I'll show it to you. If not, I want to check the clearance out. So again, see anything there, I'll show it to you. If I don't see anything anywhere else, though, I'll see you at the next one. All right, guys, I didn't even notice the turtles on the 2002 there's Raf, Leo, Mikey, and Donnie. But they got all four of these. And the sad thing was, I, I was looking at the fucklers. I was trying to get rid of them. But, yep, if I didn't point those out, I don't think that I did. I wanted to get this in there. But they got all four of these. And these are probably the best condition cards I've seen for these so far. So, pretty cool. Walmart, Abingdon, Virginia. The music's kind of loud, these outdoor speakers. So, we're going to record the intro from back here so we don't get copyrighted. But let's run in this place, see if they got anything for us. The Abbey to Walmart. The music in here today is loud, but not as blaring as it is usual. So we're going to try to do some talking. If I end up getting copyright, I'll have to go back and do a voiceover. Got Ratchet here as well. I wonder, nope, oh, $23.97. Answers that question. <laughs> You're somewhere close to wrong clearance. I did walk the clearance aisle. I thought they got a bunch of my mask channel mascot for 16 bucks, but... Now they do have some Marvel Legends back there, the Wakanda Forever Wave, and they are on clearance. 
you know, $24.97 regular price, $24, 97 cents off, which I shouldn't complain, guys. It's still money off. You're paying less. But, uh, once again, I will always give this thing a high recommendation when I see it. That is one of the coolest things I have gotten so far in 2024. And these three, I'll probably get all three of these at some point. I definitely want that big Kong. I'm hoping the spouse who tolerates picks up on my subtle hints. We'll maybe get that for Valentine's Day. War Godzilla, Kong. You got the regular figures there, both Godzillas. There's a Kong back in there. Don't see the kid. Scar King. Or Scar King, never mind. They got one back there. Oh, we just killed the turtle. We broke his shell. Uh, I'm not going to dig through these, see if they got both Genghises. If they do, that's awesome. There is Splinter, though. Oh, but whoa, look here. There's Splinter. That's cool to see. Genghis Frog. Some storage shells back in there. Go. I figured that takes me back. Hey, they got the Fugglers. I only got one of each. The last Fugglers remaining. They fuckled all their competition. That's stupid. Sorry. Um, I got some of those little Avenger figures up there. The mask. There's another RC Godzilla, which if I haven't mentioned it before, it is awesome. Oh, uh, we got Mark Ruffalo War Machine. That War Machine was great. Someone here tries to dump on that and complain about it. It's a good looking figure. Wonder Man. I'm going to scan Wonder Man to see if he's not the clearance here. Sorry guys, I don't mean to smash you up there real close against the aisle, but again, they got the restrooms right off the toy aisle here, so a lot of foot tra traffic happens through here. Plus you got the entrance to the back part there for the employees as well, so they're coming through here pretty regular. Nothing against that, I'm just saying. If you notice I do this all of a sudden, that's why. <laughs> oh, we got some dinos. Uh, oh, look at this. I've only seen this in stores one other time. They got three of them, at least. Look at the Owlman, 126 Owlman, still a couple of Robins. Are the Robins? Ah, that one I don't think has damage on it. Oh yeah, it does, it's messed up right here. Must put tape or something on that. It's got a little bit of a hoof up there and that one's got it as well. That's kind of cool seeing Wonder Woman. That's an older figure, we may scan that. This is probably the best Wonder Woman I've gotten so far from Multiverse, but I have yet to see the collector's edition. I've got a case that looks like there's three of them. Uh, my opinion, that right there, one of the best superpowers I've done so far. I like the Flash figure. Uh, those are all older. I'm not going to try to admit they're right full to the edge of the peg. Still got some more up there. Uh, we are waiting for people to pass, and they passed. Uh, boy, they walked by. They didn't pass. There's the Invisible Jet and the Whirly Bat. Batmobile. Oh, there's Nightwing, Raven. All that's the same as last week. I'm not going to dig all that out. They still got a buttload of these Batmen. A three pack there. Once again, I got that on clearance because the box was damaged. Or marked down. I won't call it clearance. That dark side figure. Oh, for I guess a cheaper figure. It's pretty nice. Another Batman up there. I Man, they got a buttload of these. Look at that. Mandos, you got some Mandos and Darth Vader's here. All kinds of those. They do have Mando back there hiding out. Well, actually, right there. Still got plenty of these and these, even though they're full price and little, little pricey, I think. There is our Persantin, Boba Fett's, uh, Maroc, Maroc, or how you say it. Uh, got that wave, the newest wave I don't see with the Mandalorian Tripper and all that. Uh, I think this Pre Vizsla and this one are newer, and her, I think she's a new, I don't know though. You Star Wars people watch this, let me know. Is that the newest release of the three and three quarter? Uh, I guess I got Choppers and Ezra's, two Choppers there, and Ezra and another Chopper. We got TIE Fighter. All of these are TIE Fighters in that one. Um, Power Rangers, Eddie Kingston's. Oh, look, they got this guy. <laughs> I 
can't believe WWE hasn't shelled out a ultimate of him yet. Uh, we don't have all the blue boots Hogan's again, do we? Once again, this is the Walmart where I found four of those. Now, they had some of these sitting back on the clearance shelf, shelf but no price tag on them. It's snake men. I may scan one of those once I get done filming. And they got Lashley and Angle down here. Ultimates. Angle, Lashley. There's Bianca Belair in it. Yep, they got her. They got a bunch of belts back in. I'm not going to dig through those, though, to see if they got the winged eagle. The Bristol, Tennessee one did have it. I saw it after I turned my camera off. I didn't turn the camera back on just for that. Nothing worth talking about in G.I. Joe. Fortnite figures. There's Hotwire. And Malik. We've seen him earlier. Gunner. The Moisty Merman. Grimmore. And Tomato Heads. We've seen all of those before. Pudgy Penguins. Yeah, some Mario movie stuff, some Mario game stuff. Demon Slayer, that character, that was cool. Keto, I don't know how to say that. I ain't gonna try. Well, I just tried, but I stopped myself because I couldn't say it right. But they got Samus here. I've got the Samus figure, but I left her on card. Oh, I bought this shy guy. I don't know if I showed her or not. I bought it off camera. That's an awesome little figure. Mario, Mario, Mario. Da, 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 da. Everybody's looking for something. Yep, I'm looking for something. <laughs> Minecraft, Poppy Playtime, Rainbow Friends. I've been seeing that stuff a lot as well. There's Pokemon. They got some Pokemon cards here. They got more about any place else I've seen lately. So, got some page punchers up here. Let's see what they are. They're on clearance for seven bucks back in the toys, and this one's on clearance too. You got Batman and Superman. All right, guys, as far as the action figures, that is going to do it. We're going to check out some Lego and die cast, see what we got there. As usual, if I find anything, I'll show it to you. Oh, did I overlook Tom Holland, Spider-Man? Huh. Well, the card's warped a little bit. We got another Spidey here, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, we're definitely going to take another look around because I don't think I saw that first time through. So, <laughs> If I do see anything else that I carelessly overlooked, I will show it to you. If not, then we will see you at the next. Greetings everyone from lovely Johnson City, Tennessee. We're gonna run into Hoth Toys. I haven't been in here in maybe a couple of months. Haven't recorded in here in quite a while, but let's go in and check this place out and see what he's got for us today. We got some minifigures up here. I've actually bought some minifigs off of him before. There's a venomized something other. There's Medusa, that's pretty cool. Three for 10, six for 20, four each. I bought um, Wolverine and some Deadpool off of him before. Get the Venom bus down there completed. 40 bucks. That's not bad. I don't think you can buy it in the store for that. That's pretty cool. I like the Venom. So those are tempting. Lego minifigures is one of my mini weaknesses. Oh, look at the Punisher. The Venom House Punisher. Oh. That's going to be hard to turn down. <laughs> we may have to get us a minifig. Wonder Woman looks pretty cool, too. There's Michael Myers. So, I guess that's loose Star Wars stuff. Uh, G.I. Joe. Real American Heroes. Transformers there on his mirrored shells. Gotta be careful, I won't catch my reflection, I'll end up breaking the camera. Oh. 35, I don't know much about Transformers, guys. I don't know if these are old, new, or whatever, but there's a cool looking star screen for 30 bucks. Oh. Let's move along here, look at some statues. There's some cool Motu Star Wars. I'm, I'm guessing he might have custom made those. I don't know. That King Kong was pretty twenty ten bucks for that King Kong thing. That's pretty good. I took a picture of Kong. That will look good on the old thumbnail. Got some statues here. Red Guardian, Captain Marvel, Snap Iron Man. Cap here with the 
broke shield 150 and the hammer um, there's the older Thor hammer not the cracked one it's out now everybody's finding the dollies or Ross man I always get ollies and Ross confused shoes he used to have a Jason Voorhees Mr. Potato Head <laughs> I'm not seeing it oh look this violator that is cute 40 bucks 150 for the big mandarin spawn yeah I've got this guy at the house I've got his pieces of them I won't stay together $5 that's pretty cool there's a Halloween glow in the dark some other loose figs some alien <laughs> and there's stuff behind me I'm forgetting to look at the tank's pretty sweet 100 bucks I had that thing. I also had the, um, the snow one, whatever it was, for G.I. Joe back in the day. Cool Millennium Falcon for 125 I don't know anything about this, guys, what this is from or what this is. <laughs> Old Lays. Stand up ad. That's pretty neat. There's Manga Spawn, 15 bucks. That's not Pat Price. He probably got that at Ross. But still, $10 or what they're asking, actually $9 over. I don't consider that scalping. I consider that reselling at a fair price. Oh, where's this little satchel of Batmobiles? Check this out. We'll get into our multiverse. How much does he want for this? 40 bucks. There's a bunch of them in there. Hmm. All about some Batmobile Hot Wheels. That one's tempting. There's Batgirl Platinum. Anti-Crisis Wonder Woman. I bought one of these here before. I like that figure. There's General Zod. The Riddler. Pimp Daddy Riddler. That's a nice one. I picked that up at um, Nerd HQ last time I was in there. Superman. This is the one from... That's Injustice. Okay. And the Robin King back there. Eight bucks. Red Hood, which Red Hood is that? Okay, no thanks, I'm not a big fan of that one. Uh, Scarecrow, Signal Duke Thomas, not a whole lot going on in McFarlane, unfortunately. Couple of the punk rock Superman. Dark Side. What else we got behind there? Jim Gordon is Batman, 32 bucks. That's the Mattel, right? I can't remember who had that version of Multiverse. That's before I started buying them. There's an old Justice Buster, it looks like. I'm not sure I'm not backing into anything. Some more Hot Wheels. I've got that whole set of this stuff. $6 a car. And, oh, that's cool. Was it Hardak? And the uh, robot Batman. That's pretty neat too, the Young Justice Invasion set. I need to be taking some pictures, don't I? Here, I'll take a picture of that. I think that's pretty cool. This Batgirl is in really good shape as far as the box. I'm not sure who made the DC Universe figures like this, but I was a fan of this packaging. That was Mattel, okay. I think I'm sorry, I've, I've always liked DC, Marvel, everything, but I did not start buying DC figures. They were already McFarlane when I started getting them. There's that Batman, the Batcave set. I've got that thing, the Spin Master. Oh, look, the RC Batmobile. That's pretty cool. Justice League. Oh, animated series. That's definitely going on a thumbnail. That's nice. I already got it, or I would probably consider buying it. <laughs> I would think 50 bucks. That looks complete. If it's got the little, there's a piece. When you pull this thing pulls out, makes like a little plane. There's a piece on the back side and the bottom side that drops like a little bomb. It's got that. It looks complete. That's Mr. Freeze open. Twenty bucks. What's this Batman behind here? Oh, it's just a. Uh, Flash, Riddler, Atrocitus. There's Bane's hands. And the build a figure from last night on earth oh it's a leg with mr freeze 
The black and white Batman's pretty cool. Robin soups. Some more Spin Master. Well, we got Joker. I think that's from that Death and Return of Superman. The older cartoon. Not old, old, but prior to the last ones that were out. That's Total Justice Aquaman. Poison Ivy. There's a Superpowers Hawkman. That's pretty sweet. Oh, where's the Thanos out of box? I've got this at the house. I need to open it. $25. That's not a bad price. Based on what I've seen it for in other places. There's Hydro Man. Scarlet Witch. Zombie Iron Man. Corsair. Oh, he's got the blade. I wonder how much he wants for that. 30 bucks. That's not terrible. Ooh, 75 for the Thor Hammer. There's 15 for those big figures up there. Almost Doc Ock is. There's War Machine. Um, Namor. Caliban. This is a cool figure. And then Kill Spree. Domino. Calling them out, guys. I don't really want to pull them off the shelf too hard. I don't want to knock them off on the floor. Draw attention to myself. I'm going to have to hurry. I'm already at eight minutes. Um, Hulk. I think I've got that Hulk. Magneto looks for 15 bucks. The Magneto there is a little base. I'm sure it's a Marvel Legend. I'm not sure which one. That Wolverine from X Men Evolution looks pretty cool. Uh, Hawkeye. Another Thor hammer. Grifter. Let's take a look at the tops here before we come back around. There's Halo and some Dinos. The Matrix. What's behind here? McFarlane and Dune. Mortal Kombat. I guess that's just Jax. There's Beetlejuice figures. I still have got that one somewhere. I don't, I don't have the sword for mine either, but I've got the headpiece that goes on him. Oh, this figure is awesome. Toy Biz Beast. $8. I figured that'd be more than that. Secret Wars. Oh, man, that Spidey's seen better days. But my Doc Ock was exactly like that because I took the freaking arms off when I was a kid. I got that Green Goblin as well. I still got my glider. I'll build a figure. How much do they want for him? 75 Whoa. Optimistic if I sell mine, if that's what it's worth. That one looks good too, I think. Oh, what have we got up here? I used to have that thing. Let it go when I sold all my pops. There's a Doctor Strange Funko. Or Mr. Potato Head, I'm sorry. Uh, we got some other loose marble here. Come to the vintage toy shop. We gotta find something to buy. Sting down there in the corner, brooding. And we got some Hot Wheels, some AEW, and some wrestling here in the center cap. We'll get around the other side. I don't want to risk knocking anything off. There's some basics, some anime. I don't really know what these boxes are, but they are labeled. AEW, Folk oh God, Stephanie McMahon is evil in. WWF Adrenaline. Well, let's see. That's some star. That's a little thing he uses when he posts on Facebook and Instagram. <laughs> Hot Wheels, Run DMC. Some more dinos. Farland Sports figures. Ghostbusters. There's a frat feature. Vinkman, I guess. That's pretty cool. Fearsome Flush. Oh, I've got that thing. I, yeah, I'm pretty sure I've got that. Yeah, I got the one that's got the trash can sidecar. I've got that. Some G.I. Joe. He's got Rakondo and one of the twins. I thought, yep, Crockmaster up there. G.I. Joe Extreme. Super 7's down there, Joe's. 
Power Rangers. I got a party wagon there in the box. TMD original party wagon. It must be the remake that was out. I was lucky I got a couple of those. And Kelly had to put Luke up on his shoulders, on her shoulders to get him. <laughs> I see Wolfpack Sting over there. Randy Orton. I don't see anything over there worth walking over for. Yeah, some Mo2. Got some loose Mo2 here. And a little Ram Man. Looks like Gimli from Lord of the Rings. Oh, Thundercats. I had the big one. I had the blue head. I had a little like handles on the back where it shot like made noises and stuff. When I was but a wee little lad. Is that only 25 bucks? How much is Snake Mountain? It's 35. I don't know if it's a remake or not though. I gotta say he's very reasonably priced here. He's got some of that McFarlane stuff over there is what I normally know more about. That are newer figures for either retail or less than retail. I guess maybe he's found them on clearance somewhere. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. All kinds of Star Wars here, guys. All kinds of it. Got some sabers up here behind his desk. Pops and figures. You can see them here. Uh, we'll take a look up here. What he's got up front. Once we take a look at this, because you got more Star Wars. Big Millennium Falcon, there's some prop swords. Or toy swords, I guess that should be more appropriate to say. It's a big Millennium Falcon. Falcon. Somebody's got that on hold. I guess they want it. Uh, and let's take us a look up here. Some turtles. I'm gonna assume those are only a hundred bucks. Those are vintage. 50 for April. What Joe's has he got up here? 92. Not uh, anything I'm looking for. Well, guys, I think that's going to do it, huh? Toys. If you're in Johnson City, check them out. I said he's got some pretty good stock and pretty good prices on stuff, but I'm going to look around a little bit more off camera. If I do find something else I didn't see, I'll show it to you. And if I bought anything, you'll see it in the hall. We just left Hoth Toys and we came over to Target here in Johnson City, Tennessee. So let's run in the good old Target store and let's see what they got. We're going to start our journey here in Collectors in the Johnson City Target because I want to see, I got this, still got this Superman. I think that's a Platinum Scarecrow. But I want to see if they had Wonder Woman. I still got a bunch of these, but I'm guessing they're still full price. If I break over and get another one, it would be that one. I like the Mr. Freeze. But I'm a big fan of that character, so. Well, I don't see Wonder Woman here unless she's back with the regular toys. Let's check these end caps up here before we get too far down. I'm actually starting on the opposite end of the collector section than I normally do. Um, still got nothing but pops there. Doesn't look like much has changed. No figures sitting. Sometimes you got figures always sitting right in here. I don't think Target puts them there. I just think they end up there from customers. Uh, a bunch of, I mean, they got a lot of Funko. I don't know if this is different from, here's Michael Jackson. <laughs> I gotta take a picture of MJ. Harley Quinn, Sam, they got the Robin Hood, the same thing that, uh, oh, Viewmaster. I had one of those when I was a kid. Jimmy from Rebel Moon, Ted Lasso, 1883. I have Knuckles. Target Con 2022. Man, that's an old one in it. I started to push the record button. That way, turn the camera off, not take a picture. Somebody has actually working. Oh, they got Danny Trejo. Okay, we're getting far. We need to focus on this first. Oh, here we go. I haven't seen these before either. And some Mutant Mayhem sodas. Superfly, Donnie, who's this? Jamie Reyes, whatever that's from. Um, oh, here we go. Not something I collect, but had not seen this before. The Platinum Disruptor. I actually haven't seen very many people at all find that thing. What else we got down here? You got the regular. Back there is Reaper. Let's see if they have another one. Looks like all those are Reaper. I'm not going to dig all those out, but 
that's a picture right there. Now, we'll look at it here in a second. There's one of those chocolate things. You got Mikey and Spider-Man. Well, if the toy section is as loaded as the collector section is, maybe a good day for hunting. Be nice to have some Street Fighter. Uh, let's see what else we got down through here. TLC pumps, Mariah Carey. I'd like to put her back on ice until next Christmas. Uh, we're gonna hang on to that. I want to make sure I might do take a picture of that thing. Stranger Things. I don't remember if I've seen those before. Is that Platinum Dune figure? And then Danny Trejo. We're definitely taking a picture of Danny Trejo. I just watched someone's video where they found him. Was it Greg Cook? I don't know. Anyways kind of cool to see that and they got a buttload of them okay somebody's behind me guys sorry for crowding you up there again Aragorn Dune mm, what do we got down here now I still got a still or not still get yeah it's embarrassing that's I should oh I should lose my my nerd card for that Rose Betty White uh, I don't have seen this before either it's Wolfman. That's kind of cool. American Werewolf in London. I like to have found the big NECA of that thing that was out a while back. I never saw that in stores either. What do we got? I mean, they, NECA has definitely been here. They got some older stuff they stocked. Is that big chap back there? Yeah. It's been a while since I saw that thing in stores as well. All kinds of this all wonder. Oh, they still got some Renette or Renee, whatever her name is, back in there. And our plushies. But yeah, not some bad finds. You got the Toonie Terrors. You got Disruptor. Platinum Edition. Again, I think I think Havoc might have found that at one point. But I haven't seen that found very much. So, makes me think that's a McFarlane. It's actually a chase. And not everywhere. <laughs> Alright guys, we're going to ramp up back here. Let's get back to the toy section. Um, if they do have anything in the toy section, I'll show it to you. But if they don't, then I will see you at the next. And there we have it. Ross, bathed in sunlight, looking glorious for the man collects. Let's run in here and see what they got inside the old Johnson City Ross. Take a look at Ross. Still got a bunch of the Lolas. Those little, whatever those are. I've seen some other YouTubers showing those. Um, Barbies, Mario. These little Dragon Ball Flash things, wherever they are. There's the Gujitsu minis. Still got those Gundams. Those have been here for a bit. Okay, let's see what we got down the old toys. It looks somewhat stocked. I looked up front and they didn't have anything different. And the way they've moved that around up there, they moved it right in the middle of the checkout line. So pretty much a quick glance is all I can give it or some time to film or I'll be in everybody's way. So, <laughs> we didn't see anything. I would have showed it to you. Long story short. And the army stuff there. That's pretty cool. I can remember seeing this in the store. It's a cool looking Bigfoot. I think that's the same one though. It's on the single. But not 100%. There's Fortnite. Ground Assault Trooper. I don't think they had him last time I was here. I don't recall. Six bucks. And then the Gundams. Um, that Fortnite's all they got. I'm not going to take a picture of just that. There's the reboot van still back there. Vegeta, I don't know, I can't say that. This looks different. I think some of these statues, I, did, I don't know if they had them last time, I didn't pay attention to them. Just to be honest about it. I'm not the biggest fan of the anime, nothing against it, I just have never watched it. <laughs> it could be really good, I could be missing out. I uh, still got this Creator 3 and 1, this little dinosaur set. I've got this. I've just never put it together. I think Luke built the Pterodactyl or Paradon, whichever one it is. Well, we got him that set. I don't think he built the Tyrannosaur. And he may have. He takes his, all his Legos apart and usually builds multiple different things out of them. <laughs> By the time everything's said and done. Alright guys, this one's looking a little bit sad today. Where's the button? What makes him dance back and forth? There we go. <laughs> All right. If I do see anything else in here, I'm going to show it to you. But if we don't, that's going to wrap us up for a Ross.
And here we are at the end of another week of toy hunting goodness here on The Man Collects. My name is Chris and thank you everyone for checking out another toy hunt video here on the channel. And before we get into wrapping it up, oh, if you haven't hit like on the video, if you have enjoyed it, be sure to hit the like button before you exit the video. But let's talk about something coming up on the 13th, which will be this coming Tuesday, February the 13th, T3 Collects channel for Undisputed the 4th. Again, if you don't know what Undisputed is, T3 hosts a panel live stream once a month. He invites a bunch of YouTubers to be on there. I've been invited back again for part four, so be sure to check that out. February 13th, 2024 at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Now, once again, I've got the link to T3's channel in the description of this video. Click on that, subscribe to his channel, turn on notifications, and YouTube will remind you on February 13th, 2024, around the 9 p.m. time to go check out Undisputed 4. Now, let's wrap up a toy hunt. Let's talk about store the hunt what was store the hunt for the end of the week toy hunt video you saw where i was watching the video there gotta give it to a walmart this time guys walmart abingdon virginia store the hunt for this toy hunt video why was it store the hunt well they had an unexpected find in that store that's the most fun thing about toy hunting in the opinion of this collector is the things you find you don't expect to run into and that goes to that wonder woman mcfarland figure from the flash um, as far as Wonder Woman figures that I've seen from McFarlane, I think that's the best looking one in my opinion. But y'all know I'm trying to find the Collector's Edition Wonder Woman. I haven't seen it in person yet. So right now, that Flash Wonder Woman still got the number one Wonder Woman spot for me from McFarlane. But did not expect to see that in the stores again, guys. That went off shelves or went off circulation a while back. So I guess they got a random box or found one in the back somewhere. They had three of them there, and they were still full price. I did scan one of them. But again, did not expect to see that. That was an unexpected find, and that kind of helped put that store as number one, uh, in my opinion, for this hunt. But also... TMNT Retro Carded Splinter. I love those Retro Carded Ninja Turtle figures. A certain ones of them really just pull at the old nostalgia strings. Splinter is one of them. Splinter and the original four turtles and Bebop, Rocksteady, and so I could list them on and on and on. But again, they had that Splinter figure there. Splinter is probably the one I've seen the least, but he seems to have a little resurgence here the last few months. I've seen him a little bit more, but that's a cool looking figure. I love the retro carded turtle figures. So the, again, that helped put that store over the top of Store of the Hunt. And then two Marvel Legends. That, that was a, this had last of the deciding factor there. But the War Machine from the Infinity Saga wave. I think that's a great looking figure. Love the black and silver paint. Love the War Machine character. That thing looks awesome. And then they had the Holland Spider-Man. I almost overlooked Tom Holland Spider-Man. It's the No Way Home uh, retro card wave that they had there. But again, those Spider-Man figures in that wave. The three Spideys look great. I only saw Holland, but still, that was pretty cool to see. And all those reasons wrapped into one makes the Walmart in Abingdon, Virginia. Store of the Hunt. I, I don't know why. I, I, don't, I didn't stop doing that. Anyway, Store of the Hunt's talked about. Now let's go into it. The man's top three. What were the top three coolest things I saw here on the end of the week toy hunt? Number three came from Target in Johnson City. And I only filmed the collector section in that store, everybody, because the toy section had no new stock. We haven't already been filming over and over again. But the collector section I did put in the video for you here because it has some different stuff there. Like the number three item, which was the American Werewolf in London Toonie Terrors. Those little box Toonie Terrors sets I think are cool looking. Uh, the wolf in that set looks really, really good. I don't know how well it came across on camera, but they got a little cell shading on it. And that cell shading done right. Not like those Batman animated figures, but that's another story for another day. But that did look cool. The American Werewolf in London Toonie Terror box set. And they're just 25 bucks, but you get two figures in it. And I guess if you buy two Toonie Terrors, it's going to be $30. So I guess at the end of the day, it's not that bad as far as the price of that line. But anyways, everybody wants to argue and go on about prices. Everybody's got opinions on that. You know, opinions are like, you know what? Everybody's got one. You know, I'm, we're going to stop on that. But anyways, that was cool to see. That is number three, American Werewolf in London, Toonie Terrors. Number two was another item from that same Target collector section, the Disruptor Spawn figure, the Platinum Edition. Now, I gotta say, the Disruptor figure, I haven't seen even the regular version of that all that much, maybe three or four times. I had never seen the Platinum version. Actually, out of the toy hunters that I watched, personally on YouTube, I've only seen one person find that thing, and that was Collecting Havoc, and he found it quite a while ago, but it was cool to see that. I don't collect the Spawn figures. 
I started to buy that, guys. I did not buy it because I'm not going to buy it just because it's a chase. We're going to get out of that mindset. I'm not buying things just because they're variants. I did leave it on the shelf there, but it was really cool to see it. And something, again, I haven't seen show up that much in other hunters' materials or in all my toy hunts. So, Disruptor Platinum, number two for this hunt video. Now, number one. And before we get into number one, we're going to talk about something else. We're going to talk about Hoth Toys in Johnson City, Tennessee. Now, I did not make them store the hunt, and nothing personal against Hoth Toys. Just on this visit, I didn't see a whole lot of stuff that I wanted to buy. But, if you are in the Johnson City, Tennessee area, Hoth Toys is a great store. The guy, I think, has very good fair prices. Be sure to check him out. I'm going to have the address for that place in the description of this video. So, if you are in the Johnson City, Tennessee area, you'll know where to go to to find Hoth Toys if you've never been there before. Uh, for anybody familiar with the area, it's behind Target. Uh, down, I can't remember the name of that road, but if you keep on, if you turn off to go by Target and keep going down that little road there, you'll see it in the shopping center there on the backside of Target. But once again, Hoth Toys, John City, Tennessee, great toy store. Be sure to check them out if you are in the area. Now, with that plug and lead in, number one was something from Hoth Toys, and it is one of my absolute favorite old waves of figures, Secret Wars, Spider-Man, and Dr. Octopus. Now, those figures were beat to crap. Spider-Man was chipped up and stuff like that. Doc Ock, they cut the tentacles off the side. They didn't come with all the accessories, but still, guys, those Secret Wars figures, that was the first ever superhero figures I had when I was a kid. And I've still got Doc Ock. I, didn't, I don't think I ever had Spider-Man. If I did, I don't remember. But, you know, I did the same thing. I didn't know who Doc Ock was back then, so I tore the tentacles off the side of mine as well. Mine looks exactly like the one that was in that baggie at Hoth Toys. Ho hopefully nobody got my storage unit and, and sold it. But anyways, it looked just like the one that I've got. Those are really cool to see. And Hasbro, I know nobody from Hasbro watches my channel, but please, one of these days, you got to do something, some kind of tribute wave to the Secret Wars figures. I know they'll probably make them articulated in 6 inch. And I'm fine with that as long as they look cool. But they got to have the shields. Those figures all came with these little shields that would open up. And you can put a hologram thing on the inside of it. You know, you got to have the hologram shields. But once again, number one for this video by a mile. There was nothing else in my opinion even close to it. Secret Wars, Spider-Man, and Dr. Octopus figures there at Hoth Toys. Guys, that's the top three. Toy haul, I didn't buy anything. I have not bought one. Actually, I take that back. I did buy something this week. I think I bought this maybe on Monday, but we bought Boom Boom from the Mario figures. So right there, that's my purchase so far this week. But we did have a good friend of the channel and good friend of mine. His goes by Vlad the Impaler. He sent a little care package to the man collection yet again. Now, some of that's still in the house. There's some other people looking through that, and they're probably going to claim some of it. But I do have three items here that I wanted to show. But one thing that he sent to me, he did send me the Thor from the Infinity Saga uh, Marvel Legends wave. And now I'm going to have to complete this wave because I've got all the figures after what he sent me. But I think I need two of them now to complete the wave. But here we've got Thor. Not a bad-looking Thor figure. The hammer looks awesome. I mean, the hammer to me makes that figure. But this is his look based on his way he looked in the Dark World. And then we've got Silver Iron Man, Mark II Iron Man. So that's pretty cool there as well. And then one of the figures I was going to end up buying eventually, Spider-Man from Civil War. Really enjoyed Spider-Man's character in that movie. He was funny. His interactions with Winter Soldier and Falcon. And then when he was fighting Cap. So a good looking Spider-Man figure there. You got Holland's face that comes with it as well. So now we got to get the rest of this wave, guys. I'll be probably picking up Bruce Banner and then um, Black Widow next time I see them to round this one out. And also, guys, he sent me some Lego sets. That's what's kind of in the house getting looked over right now by some other hands and eyes other than the man collects. The kiddos and they're taking a look at those. But once again, Mike, man, I appreciate you sending this stuff. And like I said, I know you're looking for some stuff too. I'll see if I can help you out. But, guys, with all that, that's it. Let's get into some social media plugs. Instagram. If you look in the description of this video, if you look at my About page on YouTube, you have the splash going right here on the screen that shows you where to find the man collects on Instagram. So look me up on there and give me a follow should you choose to. And then we got it. We got the YouTube channel, The Man Collects. If you are a first-time viewer to this content and you did enjoy it, or you've come back some several times but you have yet to commit and hit that subscribe button, consider hitting subscribe to The Man Collects and seeing what comes down the pipe here on the YouTube channel. 
Guys, it's been a long week. We're heading into the weekend. I hope you've had a great week, and I hope you have a great weekend. But until my Monday video, I'll see you next time.